onto the modulation. So the modulation there I highlighted because we're in a new key and we're modulating to the dominant. That's what it tells us to do in the instructions, modulate to the dominant. And dominant is another word for five or the fifth. So go back to the chord box that you drew and you count to five, one, two, three, four, five. So that means we're modulating to this key, whatever your fifth chord is, and that's the key of A major. So I wrote modulation to A major. And then what you would do is you, when you're ready, you draw out your box for A major. So I drew out a new chord box and make sure you highlight that, that it's in a new key highlight it because you don't want to be using the wrong chord box by accident so it'd be awful okay because it would ruin your melody so you're only using this chord box for bar seven and eight so i have them highlighted together so i know that i only need to use chord five and chord one that's why i only wrote in the notes but you can wrote, write in the notes for all of it to make sure that they're right c d e f e f g a it's probably best not to leave those blank because if you left them blank you might write in the wrong note there so the notes we have are e g and b so e g and b um so all our F, A's and C's are sharp now. Sorry, F, C, F, C's and G's. Yeah, F, C and G. Because A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. That's an A major, F sharp, C sharp and G major. Uh, G sharp, sorry, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. Right, so to modulate then, what you do is you write, we know we're modulating to A major, so I want to show the examiner I know I'm in A major, so I need to do a long A here to show the examiner I know I'm, I'm in A major. Now, I'm just looking at what they gave us here. They haven't done any really long notes. They've crotchet, they use a dotted crotchet quaver, um, and they haven't used any minimum. So I think I'm going to keep the same pattern as them, and I'm going to do a dotted crotchet on A. And I'm going to stick up with my high notes, and I'm going to do a high A up there. So it's a high A on a dotted crotchet, that's on a ledger line. So that's high A up there on the ledger line. Uh, that's a dotted crotchet. Then I'm going to do a passing note of F. No, sorry. Let me see now. I want to use, I want to show the examiner. I know I'm using, I'm in chords, uh, key of A major. So I want to use A, C and E. So I want to get to, I'll use um, E as a quaver. So now that's two beats already. And I only need half a beat more so i could just do a quaver rest now because they did a quaver rest above so does that add up so that's one two three four that's four quavers there which adds up to two and there's my two quavers so that's it a and e now you could have easily done a minimum as well the reason i didn't do a minimum is because i didn't see any minimums up here and they use a lot of crotchets quavers things like that so i'm trying to stick to the same rhythm as them because it's a development of the given opening so i used a and e i could have used a and c as well or i could have just used two a's that would have been perfect too um, I could have tied the A's together uh, like a smiley face like I did there you know where I tied them together and that would give the sound where they hold the note and don't change it and I could have just done two A's which would have been good too okay right now in here then I have to use notes from chord five of our new key which are E, G and B so I'm going to use a mix of E, G and B and I'm going to use a mix of quavers, uh, quavers, crotchets, things like that so let's start with E to show them I know I'm in E now, the only thing that's important in this bar, it's very, very important, right? You know the way there's a G sharp here? I have to walk up that G from here. So after you've written A, whatever note you've written there, the note before it is going to be a sharp. And it's one note just directly below it. So G sharp. And I have to write that G sharp in. See the way I wrote that sharp sign in? It has to go in there. So modulating to that new key. And the note directly before it in the music alphabet is G. And that gets a sharp. Now don't use G again in that bar. Just keep G until the end. And you use your G sharp there. So whatever key you're modulating to, write that note there. Show the examiner you're modulating to that key. The note directly before it in the music scale is going to have a sharp. Right. E, G and B. So I'm going to use some passing notes. Um, I'm going to walk up to F. Actually, I'm just going to use crotchets. So I'm going to use E. F is a passing note and to G sharp. Now my spacing is quite bad there. I should have moved that F over, but I thought I was going to use a quaver. Okay, so E, F, G. Well, because my spacing is bad, I'm going to actually draw another E. So now I've done a passing note of F back to E and jumping to G. You're allowed to jump if it's part of the chord. And that now my spacing looks better. The only thing I've left out are these two bars and they're development of bars one and two. So I'm using notes from chord one, because that's what they use there. And using notes from chord six, because that's what they use there. That's a chord six. Sorry, it's very small. Okay, so chord one, D, F and A. So a mix of that. So they use crotchets. So I'm going to use all quavers actually. So D... C, 
Um, I'm going to walk down to A, or jump down to A, F. Um, I'm going to walk back up to A, jump up to A, and jump up to D. All right? So I use D, C, A, F, A, D. So anywhere I jumped, it was part of a chord. See there? So D, walking to C, is a passing note. I jumped down to A, F, A. F and A are part of the chord. That's an F sharp. And jumped. So any jumping is part of the chord. All right. Uh, chord six, then B, D, and F. So a mix of B, D, and F. So we just played D there. Um, I'm going to do a dotted crotchet, same rhythm they have above as an F dotted crotchet. Then I'm going to go down to. Um, I'm going to use E as a passing note. And then I'm going to do D. And that's my full bar. Now. I have to make sure that everything adds up to three beats in a bar. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, that doesn't add up to three beats. One, two. That's only two and a half, isn't it? So I need another quaver there. So I'll do an F. So it's walking up. So I'll do those two together. Uh, one, two, three. 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 One, two. Oh, one, two. One, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, and it's one, two and a half. There's only where two and a half because the other half is belongs there. So I've done everything. The only thing I've left out, they wrote Allegretto for me, which is fast. They won't do that in the exam. You'll have to write uh, the tempo yourself. So you can write moderato, or you could write allegro, um, you could write andante. So andante means walking pace. So these are the words. Andante is a walking pace, which is perfect. You, that would be a good one to do for the tempo. Walking pace. Um, allegro is fast and a moderato is a good one to use as well so anything that's moderato you know it's going to be right and dante walking pace or moderato is moderate so any of those ones would be perfect you don't want to go too crazy or too fast or anything like that and then you have to give uh, dynamics so at the beginning of the piece directly underneath that f or directly underneath that note a you can start with forte right so i'm going to do uh, f here there underneath that note and that f means forte um anywhere it gets up high then anywhere it's going up high i might do um an open mouth which gradually means getting louder so here it's gradually getting louder so that's the open mouth it's called a crescendo gradually getting louder um anywhere it softens or get quieter i might do gradually getting lower but i don't see my melody going down anywhere so we'll just say moderately loud here and then um it's hard to finish off softly when you're doing a high note on a flute, so I'm not going to do anything too crazy. So we have forte, gradually getting louder. Um, I'll do moderately loud here, and then loud there under that note, forte, and then moderately loud, MF, moderately loud, and that's fine. You just finish like that, that's it. That would be enough dynamics, you don't need to have any more. And that's your full composition done. Let's read the instructions. Add appropriate phrasing and dynamics, that's phrasing. The dynamics are the Fs, the crescendo, the F and the MFs. Um, choose a suitable instrument for your melody from the following list. We chose flute and we didn't go any lower than a D. I'll just confirm we didn't. Remember, we can't go below that low D. If you choose violin, you can go as low as that low G. Um, so I've done everything and I am finished. Okay.